Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines, where we're building a perfect walkable city, complete with a big new harbor and a massive mining complex that's actually getting us money. But in hindsight, this is kind of a dumb idea. Why dig into the ground for ore when most of the time it's just falling from the sky? No, I'm just kidding. We don't actually get hit with meteors. Everything's fine. They're just little fever dreams or um, nightmares. <laughs> and no, this is working perfectly. Traffic's good and it's making us tons of money. We have like $18,000 plus per week income and that will allow us to build a new mega project, our airport. So this is planned for a while, but we're gonna be building an airport in this big square here. I've already zoned out the area, and we can just get to it. And while we do, we can listen to my tunes over on Spotify. Because if you didn't know, all the music that I use in my videos and live streams, I co-produced with Low Wave Records. And we have several full albums if you want to check them out. Just click on the link in the description. Back to it though. With the airport, it will bring in tourists, which can bring in more money as all the people fly in and see our beautiful city. And maybe that can even encourage more people to move here? I don't think that's a mechanic, but I'm gonna believe it in my head cannon. Okay, so let's get building. We have the classic airports, which look, um, hmm, pretty 1950s kind of vibe. So I don't really like that. Then we have the ultra modern airports, which are very just alien. I don't know, man. They trip me out. I don't like the little dip and dot windows on the roof. Uh, so we're going to be building just a normal, quote-unquote, modern airport. We'll start with a large terminal here. I want to just throw it in this corner because I've done a little bit of highway work just over there, and we can hook it all together pretty easily. Nice thing about these large terminals is there's a road both above and below, so there's two entrances. One we can hook up to our highway infrastructure, and another that we can hook up just to our city infrastructure, and that will be fantastico. And then from there, all we have to do is start adding in these concourse parts and we can attach aircraft stands to them. So let's go this way. Uh, we'll cap it off with a little curve there. And then this one can go off this way and we'll do the same thing. It's a real simple kind of design as we kind of figure out what the heck we're doing. Because the airport for pedestrians is one thing, but we also have to consider the cargo airport. And this is where things are gonna get real crazy. So we're gonna throw this down over here, right? And that way, it's close to the highway entrance and exit, and also close to our cargo hub. This cargo hub is probably gonna wanna interact with this a lot. So the road work needs to be completely revamped over here. And then, if we just extend this a little bit, we can make things get even crazier with an airport cargo train station. So we can throw this in here. And then not only will we have to rework the roads, but also we're gonna have to bring the train tracks somehow all the way over here and into there. And it's gonna be just an absolute disaster of infrastructure. But it should be a fun little project. In fact, before we do anything else, I really wanna focus on the train stuff. Train stuff is going to kind of lay out the rest of the build here. So we need trains to go from our main line, our main out of city line over there. But then the trains also need to be able to go from the cargo hub to the airport as well. And that's where things are gonna get really crazy. You know what? We should just start with over here where things are simple. Uh, we'll bring this over. Uh, there's two lines though. Could we have this line just go over this way? To where? Hmm. Kind of to nowhere, because this is all one giant loop. Like the trains come in this way, they go around in a circle, and then they leave. So we kind of need to have the entrance and exit to this place over here. Okay, so maybe we chill on that. Maybe we do something like this. Have the train come over this way, and then scoot on over to the airport. Then this can turn over that way, get a little bit of space, combine back up with that line, and then that is pretty much connected. Now we can just bring that straight over this way, and then similar to how we did this loop, we can combine this loop together as well with a bunch of one-way train tracks. That's connected, good. 
And then this will go off in this direction. Scoot very calmly and connect up there. So that's part one. Part two, a train over here that just got set up in the cargo hub wants to go over to the airport. Well, now that we have some basic set, we can have a divergent from here, go to there, scoot underneath all the nonsense we just built, and then go up this way. That works out pretty well. Then we just go up and over. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all, in fact. Oh, and the last thing is we just need to go from A to B and then turn that around. And that allows the airport trains to go to the cargo hub and drop stuff off at a boat. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the train stuff. Now for the vehicle stuff. Oh, oh gosh, okay. Uh, hmm, how does this system even work? Uh, the vehicles, I'm pretty sure, go into there and then leave through that exit. What direction is this road going in? Right-hand traffic, there's an arrow. So the vehicles need to go in this way and then go out over here back to the highway. You know, we could just do this. We could have a one-way road going from the highway just over here. Like, why not? Make all this a one-way as well and make it a whole song and dance. And then this would just go back there. Or better yet, a road can go up again, over, and then just go directly into the highway. Oh, that's definitely the play. If we connect it to the highway here, then all of the traffic from this airport is gonna go through the cargo hub area and it will be pandemonium. So no, we'll do something like that. And that is pretty much the idea. Now let's just make it look less horrific. And I think it's fair to say that I failed. Whoops. This looks as chaotic as ever. In fact, it might even look even more chaotic after I've tried to organize it. So it's the same concept as before, it's just, oh my gosh, there's just so many train lines. It's pandemonium. This all goes over this way, and then I disconnected this and moved it around a bit. So at least we didn't have like the double curve thing going on here. And now we're just going to have that. I lied, the track doesn't spawn in. Please, is this not gonna work? Oh my gosh, if I have to redo all this again, I'm gonna be upset. This will work, yes? What if we did that? Okay, track lines connect. Now squish, don't break. Oh, not breaking. Think we're good, straighten it out a bit. Okay, doesn't break, looks pretty good. Think that might be how we let it be. It looks a little weird, this graphical glitch, but <laughs> after everything that I've been through on this, brother, that's just gonna be how it is, okay? And then also highway stuff we're gonna do a little bit later. I just wanna see how the rest of this area lays out and how we do the roads for the main entrance as well. Like we'll do all that stuff at once. Because next we have to set up the airport itself. So that's the runways, the taxiways, and all of the aircraft stands. We are gonna throw as many as we can just throughout here. Just change that so spacing is a little bit easier. Call that a day, and then over here, same deal. Only large aircraft. I don't think it matters actually if it's large or small, but I think it's better if they're larger aircraft, right? I don't know. So that should be sufficient. Oh, and I forgot. Look, look what I did. I went a little crazy with the train track stuff and I needed a break, so I added in this cool little decal where we have these airline lounges right in front of the airport. So you can enter and you can see everything that will potentially happen. And it looks really nice. Kind of debuffs that sharp corner there. Anyway, I digress. Let's get the taxiways going. So these are the roads for the planes as they go towards the, oh, the runways. We need the runways. Uh, how many runways should we have? Two? We could do more than two, but I don't think it really matters all too much. Let's just have two. Maybe we'll add in more later. I'm not sure. I really forget how all the traffic works with the planes, or if it even really matters. But I guess we'll find out soon, eh? Let's just hook things up in a very basic way, and then hopefully it all works out first try. All right, so taxiway all goes through here. Then uh, this is where you take off, so the planes will have to enter here at the beginning of the runway, and then that will connect up to there. Cool. And planes leave the runway from there. So we have like an outbound lane and an inbound lane. That can go right back into there. 
and then we'll just make this a giant loop for the pedestrian aircraft. But we gotta tie that in with the cargo aircraft now, which is a whole nother can of worms. First, we need to set up more Concord areas for cargo planes. With the cargo area, we actually set up these roads and we can attach the plane terminals to them. So we'll bring one road out that way, another out this way, and again, spam. More planes equals more money, right? I actually, I don't really know. But it makes sense that that's how it'd work out, right? Probably. Why are you not connecting, sir? The, we, what? The road is right there. Why? What if we just build you again? Okay, you're gonna be like that. Hmm, okay, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, and now you're happy. What the heck? I have no idea why that is. Can we scoot these over? Like we can't have these with uneven spacing. That'll drive me nuts. Oh, but no, that's fine. Well, it's a little annoying, but it works, so it's fine. Right, so taxiway for these guys now. And in a similar fashion, this is all gonna be in one big loop. So that will go to there. Planes will skewed in, and they are good. And then I suppose we just have a taxiway going this way, out and around, and then that's good. And that, that I think that's pretty much our entire airport, eh? We have all the taxiways for the pedestrian and the commercial planes. Uh, will traffic happen with the planes? Yes. So if there's a plane going down this way and there's a plane in here and the plane on the taxiway wants to go in here too, the planes will start backing up on the taxiway. So we'll make kind of a bypass lane just in the middle there. Will we have that same problem with the cargo planes? Probably. And probably we could just get rid of that entire issue by doing the exact same thing and having a little bypass lane as well. Seems like a good idea. In fact, it could even look pretty good. We match it up with a pattern up top. Ooh, okay, that looks pretty professional, eh? I think so. Though maybe all this is a bit overkill. So I think I'll get back to that later. Right now, I was looking at this little space here and there's a decal that we have to throw in. Oh, by the way, airports, in order to make money, they need to be attractive. They need to look good. So people need to be able to see containers for fuel. They have an attractiveness score of 40. Plus they look great. So we gotta throw a lot of stuff like that in. Also we could throw in like hangers and they do a similar thing. Just making the airport look more cool. And the cooler your airport looks, the more tourists come in. And also since we're playing modded, we can actually park planes inside the hangers. It's pretty awesome. And in doing so, we get even more attractiveness points by doubling up the decorations. But we'll dive into that a little bit more once I finalize the runway. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. No, 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 that is the wrong order of operations. No, 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 no. We get all this figured out, then we get all the roads figured out, then the last thing we do after we test things is decorate, of course. So I gave this another look, kind of chilled down on the taxiways. I don't know, it felt a little cluttered. And then I went in and finished up the highway stuff. It's all very basic, just little roads going over to there, little exit for people that want to go to the highway. And then if people want to go into the city, there's a way into there. And also a little highway for people to go from the main highway over to the airport and then into the city or wherever they want to go. Yeah. It's nothing too crazy. Just usually you want out of city people and inner city people to intersect at the main airport terminal here. And after I throw in the waterworks here, let's test it out, see how it all works. Hopefully all the highways don't collapse under a traffic calamity and the planes don't cause a huge traffic jam either. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention, we're calling the airport New Flyer, Metropolitan Airport because we're in New Walker, New Flyer. <laughs> it's a terrible play on words. And that's why I'm a YouTuber and not a comedian. But okay, planes are heading out. Kind of ominous that the first thing that happens when we open up an airport is everyone wants to leave. A little uh, spooky. It's like the best city in the world. I don't know why. All these loading up. Cool, just waiting for people, I suppose. Cargo port area, how are you working? Pretty well. All the planes are like, it's go time. And yeah, this is a huge problem with this entire DLC pack actually, is the planes clip together and it drives me nuts and there's no way to really fix that. 
That's why I was like, eh, we may as well just stick with two runways. It's annoying. That's just how it is. What are you guys doing? What? What? Okay. They're going over this way. And then they're turning around? Why? Oh, there are vehicles from inside the city. Weird. Did I not set up something for this? Oh, no. I just set up a one-way here. Stop. Oh, and over here as well. Well, then wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up. Maybe it'd be better if this was a one-way. And then we just had a one-way over that way. Yeah? Forces all the traffic in the direction I like it. Oh, wait. Are you seriously going down this road just to pull a UE over there? I swear. Donut truck! Why you gotta be like this? Do we even need this road? Not really. Just do that. This. Boop. Bop. Maybe I'll mess with it more. Maybe I'll delete it. I don't know. Main thing is... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait, where are they going? Wait, are these inner city vehicles going onto the highway? Oh, no, no, no. They're going around the loop as planned. Vehicles are entering through there. Good, good. Scooting around wherever they're going. Looks like they're all mostly going to this cargo train terminal. Dropping off their goods. Buy metal ore. And then where do they leave? Oh, looks like we're about to find out. Train is coming in. Dropping off the goods. Like a hot dog fan. <laughs> Everyone scoots around. Now this is not gonna block off the traffic that's inbound, right? Wait, what? You're just dropping stuff off from the train onto the plane. And then, wait, are you just going back then to the train? Seriously, uh, that's really annoying. That might end up being a traffic disaster. So I'll keep my eye on it. Oh wait, a new train. Will we see how the exit works here now? No, everyone, oh wait! Oh, good. So they enter through that little tunnel, and then they leave through that one. Okay, easy. Traffic along the main road will work fine. Over here, there might be a problem, but I don't even care. It's working fine. No probarinski. Uh, money is a probarinski. We're negative seven grand. Oh, uh, no, that's because our expenses are $20,000 per week for this airport. Policy, can you save us? Land value to the entire airport? Sure, land value is good. Oh yeah, we have to be a level three airport and then we can get an airline. Yeah, that'll solve all of our problems. Oh man, and the land value thing really helped too. $14,000 profit right now? Not exactly. It's crashing. It's going back up. Uh, uh, yeah, 14,000 and back down. Okay, whatever. It's positive. And then it'll be even more in the green once we actually get the airline. Off, take off the planes. Everything's looking good. Trains. Do you continue to go chew? No problems here, I'm not seeing any backups. We already had a bunch of trains that went to the cargo terminal there. Yeah, I'd say we're great. Look at them go. So let's pause everything and let's get to decorating. The more decorations we have, the more planes come in, the more tourists we get, the more money. And we can use that money to pay for healthcare, smile. So let's get a couple of hotels built, like a luxury airport hotel. That's pretty neat. What even has a pool on the roof? You see that? Bro, imagine swimming in the pool and watching all the planes taking off. Dude, big cool. Uh, main thing is, we gotta fix up this road a bit here. What do I have going on? A bunch of one ways? You know, we could chill this out. Let's just do that and then something like that. Cause the traffic in front here is never gonna get too crazy. For one, I set up a little airport bus to go to the Dock Harbor area. And then later on, once we get everything finalized, there is a metro line underneath the airport itself that we can just connect up to our main grid. Oh, wait a second. I almost forgot. We have a train. Airport train station. Yeah, bud, we're gonna have that. Throw that on right there. Oh, that is so good. So then we could have a train connect up to our main train line. And then that goes directly to our city's main transit hub. Wow, then they don't even have to take the metro all the way over. Yeah, you know what? Let's just set that up immediately. We'll just have it go from A to B. Now the trains can leave the city if they want, or they can go to the center of it. All right, done skis. Back to the decorations then. We need that luxury hotel right up front, and some of the cheaper ones maybe off to the side here. A massive parking lot right up front there. And I suppose a nice park for when people actually arrive at the city. So the first greeting isn't like, you know, just a giant building in a parking lot. Now you have art, beautiful art, and a very pleasant welcoming plaza. 
And later on, once we do some tree stuff, we can throw some trees in front of that and it'll be fine. Checking out the airport itself again. When do we get an airline? At level three? How do we get to level three? We need 5,000 passengers and a thousand attractiveness score? Oh, well, here come all the passengers and the cargo airport stuff. Good. You know what? Attractiveness won't be a problem because we can just have the large hangars with the planes in them. So yeah, we'll just do that plan. Have a bunch of those set up over here. And after setting up those planes, how is our attractiveness now? Attractiveness 986, don't do this to me. Wait a second, can we have these? Oh, we can, we can set up the hangars on the concourse taxiway place. Let's go. Cool. Couple big ones, couple small ones. Toss some planes inside and give them some sippy drink. And our attractiveness is through the roof, literally. And wow, we already have 3,000 passengers that came in? Let's go. Cool. It's kind of a weird thing with this game. A lot of planes just happen to land at once. Then you get like big bumps of like 500 passengers each. So each of these planes, yeah, carry 350 people max. Sometimes it's not full, but most of the time they are more full than not, which makes sense. Numbers are big, which means we should be done with this any second now. Oh, come on, 55 more people, please. Oh, plane just landed. Oh, it's a cargo plane. No. Wait, do the cargo planes carry passengers? Probably not, eh? They probably carry cargo. Wait, this one doesn't even have cargo. It's coming to pick stuff up. Bruh, it's so inefficient. Don't send an empty plane to my airport. Oh, wait, oh, wait. There we go. That one has people. I guess we just have to wait for them to drop off. Come on, park. Good, level three, baby. Time for our airline. So going back into here. Where is the airline building? There it is, the airline HQ. Costs a bunch of money, but who cares? Because we can use it to make a bunch of money. And that is gonna fit in right here, am I right? No, but we have mods to force it, so <laughs> it checks out, right? Checks out. I have to say, I hate this building. It looks so ugly, but who cares? It'll make us tons of money. Let's look into our airline now. Attractiveness score. Because our airport is so attractive, people will pay more to fly in our planes. Why does that make sense? Don't worry about it. Let's charge, I don't know, like 150 bucks. I want to keep the attractiveness over a thousand. I bet that's some kind of like marker point. So there we go, exactly a thousand. As to the rest of this stuff, what do we call this? City of New Walker, New Flyer Airport. What do we call this Airwalk? Airlines? So we have New Flyer Metropolitan and Airwalk Airlines. That checks out. Logo, this one's orange. I actually love the color orange. So we're gonna go with that. We could go with some beautiful cubes red but it kind of clashes. So we'll keep that orange as well. Let's try and match it up perfectly though. Oh yeah, bud. I like it. And now we have our own fleet of planes in the city, already full of people wanting to take the maiden flight out. And that should make us how much per week? $26,000? Well, wait a second, wait a second. How much does our airport cost? $26,000. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna break even on the airport. Well, that's okay. We're bringing in a lot of tourists. Plus we have the extra cargo capacity stuff going on here. So overall, we're gonna definitely make a lot more money. In fact, now that we have everything in and everything's working, I'll do the final decorations around here and we'll just keep an eye on our total income. So we're at like 2,500,000. We'll see after a little bit if that actually goes up or down. And sometime later, and after a lot of decoration, the numbers are really weird. The number keeps going up, but our weekly income is all over the place. Sometimes it's negative six grand. Sometimes it's plus 17. Sometimes it's negative 20,000. It, it, it's all over the place. It's really, really weird. I don't know why this is happening. But yeah, overall, we are slowly gaining money. So I, I just don't know. Perhaps when we build more touristy stuff, more tourists will come in. Perhaps it's because passengers are not filling up the seats properly. I've been messing with this number and the decorations a bit and trying to figure it all out, but I don't know. It's weird. It's a bit of a balancing act where you want to have the ticket income lower so you actually fill seats. But you don't want it too though because then you don't actually make money. So I'll just be keeping an eye on it for the foreseeable future. As I was kind of dilly-daddling with that, 
The important thing is I added in a control tower for our airport, which is just an aesthetic thing, but you know, what kind of an important aesthetic thing. And I want people directing what's going on around here. And then I added in uh, like a big fence for security purposes. And then just a ton of trees and parking lots all throughout this area. Just to kind of fill in the space, make it look more professional and all that jazz. But for now, that is kind of it. And with all this cool infrastructure in place, I have some wicked ideas for the next episode. But that is going to be all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.